Hi everyone and welcome to Claudia's channel. Today we are talking about the first successful uh, womb transplant that was given out from a dead donor that led to a healthy living baby. So stay tuned. Yeah, we all know that in 2013, we had a successful uh, uh, transplant, but this was done from a live, a living person donated a womb to another woman and she carried the baby, no problem. But this is the first time it's happening from a dead person donating her womb to that will lead to a healthy living baby there have been a whole lot of um transplant being done we have about 50 or there about that has been done yet and we only have about 11 living babies from this transplant obviously from a live donor and this live donor are mainly mothers donating their womb for their own children or a sister or relative so it has ne never been a really wide um um opportunity for others to because not not everyone wants to do that you know but this is the first time it's happening and this happened in brazil and this woman she was born without womb so at times in some cases there are women that are born without womb and others lost their womb they lose their womb during the course of uh, medical problems issues or anything can lead to you taking off your womb so you not be able to have children in most cases it has the only solution to this case is all with surrogacy or adoption most women just have no choice and adopt baby or look for another person that will rent their womb surrogacy another person that will carry the baby for them but this happened live this woman she had no womb and the brazilian uh, doctor who did this took this womb from the woman who died of stroke 45 she was 45 years old then and the receiver at the time of this transplant she was 32 years old and this happened in 2016. Womb was implanted into this woman and she carried this womb for some months, was five to seven months. And she had good, uh, she had no problem, no rejection, no problem. She menstruated during this period, very normal and no complication. So thereafter, the frozen egg she had that was uh, was implanted into her and she had a normal pregnancy and the child was delivered at 36 weeks which means she had no problem she did true c-section obviously the doctor decided to do this uh, during true c-section and also take took off the womb because he preferred to give this womb to another woman to try to have an, another baby than just keeping it with just one particular woman to have uh more than one child of her, uh, that she desires or one so she, we, she the doctor obviously want other women to have and um, to benefit from this though uh, it's not really known now if it's gonna is uh, having a dead donor or a live donor which is actually better or um, less complication or this or that with a lot of studies to have to be done on this to decide that but obviously if it's gonna be from a dead donor there's a chances that you have more donor than when it's been done from a, a living donor because a living donor are mainly restricted to relative mothers and sisters and this has always happened mainly in Bra uh, in uh, sorry in Sweden so this is going to put a smile on so many women's faces and this is going to make them laugh again and carry their own children if they really want to carry theirs than going for adoption which i am not against or surrogacy which i'm also not against so there are some women that just want to have their own children which is obviously okay so thanks for watching if you like our videos make sure you share and make sure everybody says this video so others will know what's going on and you know have that faith and hope and walk towards it and yes everybody who wants a child should have the right to have a child of their own like share subscribe with youtube as closure we're on facebook as closure we're on twitter and also on instagram make sure you get this video everywhere so everybody gets to know about it and thanks for watching see you some other time bye bye